Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back on the channel. Captain Vince here. And today, in this first video in a while, I wanted to talk about a subject that has been quite debated these past few months with the release of P3D version 4. This subject is tweaking in prepared version 4. So, as many of you guys, almost every day I visit forums such as Vatsim, and I often read how V4 doesn't need any tweaking anymore. And even more so that you shouldn't even attempt tweaking it because it's optimized as it never was. Well, you know what, today I want to go against these voices and show you how you could potentially and most likely increase by a fair amount your performances in prepared version 4. Alright guys, let's get started. So the main tweak I want to focus on today is Affinity Mask. So if you've been around uh, since FSX, even earlier versions of P3D, you know what Affinity Mask is. It's basically a tweak that you input into your config file and it actually plays with uh, how your CPUs handle the game. So I won't go into too much details uh, about what Affinity Mask is. In the description you will have a link uh, that explains it much better than I do. But most of you should be quite uh, used, um, quite accustomed to uh, this tweak. So what you are witnessing right now is footage without any Affinity Mask. And this is actually recommended by a lot of people on Vatsim and other forums to not use Affinity Mask with prepared version 4. And while it runs very smoothly, as you can see, we are in the uh, Carinado Bonanza at uh, Flight, Ble Flight Beam, sorry, uh, San Francisco, KSFO. Um, I will prove to you that using Affinity Mask is actually very beneficial. So um, on the top left corner of your screen right now, you have the FPS, the live FPS I was getting during the recording and it, it will give you a good uh, overview of the different performances that we get with the different settings of Affinity Mask. Alright guys, so without Affinity Mask we are getting pretty decent uh, frame rates. Uh, it doesn't go below 30 FPS and it can go up to 42, 44 even. So it's pretty stable, very good. Um, I'm pretty sure most people would be very pleased with this. Um, especially in such conditions. But now let's see what we can get out of Affinity Mask set to 85 and afterwards set to 116. Okay, so now Affinity Mask set to 85. What you are going to witness are very similar uh, performances, although we get some uh, more interesting performances once we turn back towards the airport. Um, in the previous clip, this is where the, the most performance draw drawbacks were, but in this one you'll see we will stay above 40 uh, throughout uh, pretty much the whole flight, except upon departure. As you can see, uh, the performances actually dropped below 30, so 85 doesn't seem to be the best option. It's a bit jittery. Uh, we were at 28, uh, even 27, 30 FPS. Um, right up on departure, so 85 for a quad core. Um, some people recommend it, uh, but as you can see here, it's very similar, and we got some worse performances on departure. But afterwards, when we are uh, in the air, we get very good performances and even better performances than without Affinity Mask when we make that turn towards the airport. So make sure to keep an eye on that FPS counter and see for yourself.
guys, so now the affinity mask setting I am actually recommending to you guys is uh, affinity mask set to 116 or 116. As you'll see throughout the clip, uh, performances are much smoother. Um, we will get, we will even reach 50 frames per second during the flight and overall we will stay pretty much um, above 40 uh, for the entire uh, entire clip. So uh, the only dip uh, weirdly is upon departure but that might have been just a one-time issue because afterwards you'll see it's quite magnificent. So on departure we are um, 35, 38 uh, but once we really get airborne, we will stay uh, pretty much above 40 for the entire clip. Um, compared to without Affinity Mask or even with 85, uh, as, you, as you can see right now, the performances are... Uh, we're getting around 4, 5, even 6, or in some cases 10 FPS more than without Affinity Mask. If you go back, go back and watch the clip, we were getting around 36, 37, now we're getting 51, 52, 49, so um, it's very, it's a testimony for uh, Affinity Mask, I think, and for you guys who might be struggling with performances and uh, who are always looking to gain more, well, I think this is definitely a tweak you should look into. So uh, let's roll the music. I want to thank you guys a lot for watching this video. I hope I can help you. If it did, please leave a comment. Tell me, uh, and look at that, we're getting 58, 59, we're 60 now. So it's, it's quite amazing um, the performances you can get with um, this simple tweak in the CFG. So um, again, in the description, I will leave the line that you need to enter in your config file. Uh, but it should be very uh, straightforward. So guys, again, hope this helped. If it did, leave a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, uh, stay tuned for more videos. I'm finally back from my little hiatus. So uh, great to be back making videos again. And uh, talk to you soon, guys. See you.